Its victims had nowhere to run when the gunfire erupted. The Airbnb had more than 200 people crammed into a small space. Andy Sheehan continues our team coverage now at five, asking the question how the space came to be used for a party with underage drinking, drugs and guns. Andy. Kim, Kim, these pop up events have become commonplace and they've become a menace. And in the wake of this tragedy, there's a movement now to crack down. He got a gun. The shocking video shows the desperation. People packed shoulder to shoulder, pushing towards the exit, even jumping out the windows to save their own lives. In addition to finding the shooters, police want to know who allowed this to happen. Hey, Mr. Barr. Yeah. Do you have a statement, sir? Property records show the upstairs floors are owned by 900 North Group LLC, with this house as its operating address. I spoke with its owner, Greg Barr, through the door. We'd appreciate uh, just a little respect right now. We were informed by attorneys and Airbnb not to give any statements. Just respect us a little bit right now. We're speaking with attorneys. But Airbnb says it doesn't allow party and fines violating owners $500. Quote, Airbnb strictly bans parties and we condemn the behavior that is alleged to have prompted this criminal gun violence. The booking guest has been issued a lifetime ban from Airbnb, and we will be considering all legal options to hold this person accountable. In June of 2019, two people were shot dead in the Hill District at a graduation party held in an Airbnb. That prompted city council to pass legislation banning them, but the parties persist. On Friday night, police broke up this event at this vacant storefront on the south side when the owner discovered underage drinking and 200 people crammed inside, 100 above capacity. I called the police, um, which were great, by the way, um, and they dispersed the crowd. Police said there were fights outside the venue but made no arrests. The owner said she was misled by the organizers. But we also have to have certain protocols in place as the venue owners ourselves. Um, I know for myself, I do have strict policies. 